Nscaler454 here, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be making a removable mountainside so we have access to our tunnel, which I think is extremely important in the event of a derailment or if I'm doing track maintenance or track cleaning. Now I do have an access hole right in the back there, but that's just not good enough to reach all the way through. So if you have a very deep tunnel or anything like that, try to engineer in some sort of access point to get to all of the track, or at least as much as possible. Now, I'm gonna be using extruded foam to kind of build this up, and I have built some pieces already. So if we put this together, you'll kind of see what we got going on. And something like that. Now these pieces right here are going to be kind of glued together and then some of it is not. And basically the next step is to figure out what pieces of this top foam here I can cut out in ways that, you know, what's going to be secure and what's going to be removable. It's kind of like Tetris except for you're designing all of the pieces to work together, which is a bit of a challenge, but kind of play around with it and think about it and you'll figure it out. As usual, I use PL300 foam board adhesive to glue the foam together. At this point, I had a section piece together that could be removable. From there, it was a matter of building up the foam layers to get a structure of the mountain. So here's the foam all stacked into a mountain shape, very rough shape, and I think I'm done, but I say think because in the model railroading world, things change all the time. But it is removable, so if I pull this up, you can see there's the access to the track. Now one thing I might change is I may cut this right here and across which might allow me to hide that seam a little bit better. But for now, I think I can go ahead and start terraforming this. And if I change my mind, I should be able to glue that down and separate that later, which shouldn't be a big deal. So for now, let's go ahead and go about the project that's completely unplanned. And I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just gonna start taking a little box cutter, utility knife, and cutting this down and hopefully I can form this into some hills and mountains that hopefully look pretty good. I then used a sharp utility knife to start cutting away the foam to shape the mountain. I recommend letting the adhesive cure for a minimum of 24 hours as if it isn't dry enough it will gum up your blade making it difficult to cut through the foam. I cut thin layers at a time, but eventually things started to take shape. It's surprising the amount of foam that you cut off.
I then took 50 grit sandpaper to smooth things out. It's amazing how well this will sand down the foam. made some rocks using Woodland Scenic's rock molds. These should give a lot more detail than if I carved all the rocks myself. So I pretty much have the mountain where I want it for its final shape. So the next step is going to be to carve into the foam areas where I know there's going to be a rock face, kind of like right here. I've already carved this whole section out quite deep because not only is that going to give me a thicker layer of plaster, but it's also going to start to form some different kinds of crevices and resemble rock surfaces immediately, which will mean less carving into the plaster later on. I used a utility knife and a chisel to carve out the foam. Looking back, I probably should have went deeper into the foam. We're now ready to start plastering the mountain. I'm going to use a relatively thick consistency of plaster, but I'm also going to try this Woodland Scenics plaster cloth. I cut a few strips just to try it out and see how I like it, but I'm certain that for the most part I'm going to be using just, you know, the plaster itself. Uh, I think I have everything set up, and if I'm lucky, maybe I can even throw in a few rock formations as well. So you can see the consistency I was looking for. I think that's pretty much there. It might be on a little bit on the dry side, but I want it to be nice and tacky so I can kind of move it where I want to without it running down the whole mountain. I found the plaster dried relatively quickly, so I had to add some water near the end. Then it was time to pry up the access panel. Because the plaster had already started to dry, it was stuck down pretty well and required some effort to get it up without breaking it. I had to scrape off the dried plaster and reapply so I could stick on the rock formation.
Here I attempted to chisel the plaster away in hopes it would resemble realistic rocks. Alright guys, we are going to call this video complete. The mountain is far from finished, but we did accomplish what we set out to do and that was to make a mountain with a removable access panel that you can get to the track like so. So that is a success. And I did learn quite a few things along the way. One, I feel that the Woodland Scenics plaster cloth sticks better to the extruded foam than the plaster of Paris. Though the plaster of Paris is very easy to sculpt and uh, carve away, as long as you have a thick enough layer, because if it's too thin, it will chip away from the foam, which honestly is to be expected. Um, I tried everything I could to make a nice tight seam, and no matter what I did, it just didn't come out the way I wanted it to. Whether that was a thick layer of plaster or a thin wet layer, uh, or removing it and sanding it flush. It didn't matter. It always came out to be different. And also this never would fit back properly and I always had to do a lot of fiddling to get it to sit back. And so it was, it was very tedious and somewhat frustrating. So if anyone knows a better solution, please, you know, tell us in the comments. Uh, I still have probably more work to do on the mountain. I may even add a, you know, another piece of you know, rock formation or something there because that is quite steep. So, yeah, it's one of those things where something's never done until you finally give up on it, but obviously tunnel, whatnot. So lots to do. If you guys want to see that in a future video, make sure to subscribe. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button. And as always, thanks for watching.